Welcome back to Doran Sports. I'm here with the uh, the Wallabies in New South Wales Waratahs hook at Talafu Palota now. Thanks very much for joining us in Doran Sports. Uh, thank you, Richard. Thanks for the opportunity. How's the knee at the moment, mate? Uh, not too bad. I mean, uh, it's almost 100%, which is great because uh, I've just been trying to uh, upkeep it throughout the whole week. Because, yeah, as you said, it sort of um, got injured, but it wasn't 100% uh, coming back after it, but now it's almost 100%. Great. This weekend, New South Wales are up against Queensland at Suncorp Stadium. Will you be right to go? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, the shoulder wasn't the best, but um, that saying, I was just making sure that everything I do is one helping the team out, but also making sure that I'm going to be uh, sent to the It's been reported in the news and in the media recently that uh, you should be wrapped in a, a bunch of cotton wool, um, especially leading up to a World Cup. Do you, do you, do you feel any sense of anxiety about uh, getting injured? No, not at all. I mean, uh, like I said, it all comes down to preparation. Just making sure that I'm going to be able to play because you never know when it's going to be your last. How do you prepare for a game like this up against Queensland? Oh, obviously just go through the normal uh, activity. Just worrying about our strategy rather than theirs and we'll hopefully uh, we can execute it on the game. Does psychology play a part in, in your performance? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, I think uh, everyone has to buy into the, uh, the strategy that we uh, put up with in the whole team. So, making sure that everyone knows it first and foremost, and then finally on the field, that's uh, very psychological because it's all about the people's toughness that we need to carry that out for a whole year. And, and physically, uh, how do you prepare for a game? Oh, we've got the uh, we've got great uh, SNC coordinators that not only just uh, work well with the medical staff in terms of uh, researching in what injuries the players have and have not, but also making sure that there's a fine line of getting the right amount of um, <coughs> running time for specific guys by measuring that through a GPS system. So they can uh, sort of um, measure how, how much they run in their load, but also uh, making sure they don't, don't go over them as well. Now you're up against Queensland, uh, dynamic halves and Quade Cooper and Will Genia, how do you shut them down? Oh, I think uh, we just have to make sure that uh, one, we shut down the forwards uh, in order to uh, stop getting them that quick ball that they love to uh, work with. So um, I think uh, if we can go through there, that's definitely not possible for us, but also making sure that uh, we don't keep them up time as well. So I think uh, just a defence that we get our lines with. Will we be seeing inspirational skipper Phil Wall back in the starting line? Yeah, I don't know about that. Um, I think uh, the team gets announced tomorrow, so uh, we're we'll just making sure uh, everyone's right to, uh, to be ready to go. But he is an inspirational leader because uh, he doesn't really speak many words, but you just know from his aura that on the field, like, it's not just in like a good situation. <laughs> hey there. Well, thanks very much for joining us today and uh, greatly appreciate it. Thanks, mate. Thank you.